time with us. Uh, thanks for joining us for this ETF shorting strategies from hedging to hedge funds. This will be a one-hour webinar, and we're grateful for the sponsorship of the ProFunds Group. My name is Dave Nodig, and I'll be your host for today's webinar. I'm the Director of Research here at IndexUniverse.com, as well as the Journal of Indexes and the Exchange Traded Funds Report, which is the longest-running ETF-focused newsletter in the world. The format for the afternoon is pretty straightforward. I'm going to do a short 20 to 30 minute presentation discussing some of the basic strategies of the short seller. But perhaps more importantly, we're going to try to address really what the big question is, which is why go short in the first place? What value does inverse market exposure bring to you as an advisor or as an individual investor? Beyond that, we'll take a look at some of the strategies used by uh, sophisticated investors, institutional investors, and individual investors to hedge portfolios, to manage risk, to generate excess returns. And last, we're going to walk through some of the tools of the trade. We'll touch briefly on some of the various ways you can achieve different patterns of short returns. We'll look at the pros and cons of everything from options to inverse funds and inverse ETFs. Uh, we'll talk about how to evaluate some of the benefits of uh, different approaches. And we'll review some of the potential pitfalls that you should probably be aware of. At the end of my pre presentation, uh, I'm going to bring in our esteemed panelists, and we'll open things up for audience Q&A. Uh, joining me on the panel today will be three experts in evaluating short strategies with very different perspectives. Joanne Hill is the head of investment strategy for the ProFunds Group and author of several recent studies on leveraged and inverse ETFs, uh, some of which have been featured in the Journal of Indexes. Tim Collins is the founder and principal at Tangle Trade Management, and uh, you all may know him as a frequent contributor at thestreet.com, where he sometimes serves as a foil to James Kramer. And we have Rob Stein, who's the portfolio manager for the Aster Long Short ETF Fund, uh, obviously a very relevant product in our discussion. Uh, and he's also the editor of ETFport.com. A few housekeeping items. As a participant in this webinar, you can submit questions at any time during the presentation by entering them in the Q&A window, which should be on the right-hand side of your screen. We'll collate as many of those questions as we can uh, and answer as many as we can during the Q&A session at the end. Uh, a replay of this presentation and copies of the slides will be available at uh, our website, indexuniverse.com, within a day or two. And for those of you interested in continuing education credits, information on how to apply for those credits uh, is available on the last slide of this presentation, which we'll leave up for a while so uh, people have a chance to write that down. That information will also be in a follow-up email. With that, let's go ahead and get started. So first off, let's just lay a little bit of groundwork. So what do we mean when we say going sh So some people, that definition is really rather rigid, uh, and technically, you really are only going short when you sell a security that you don't actually own by borrowing it from somebody who does own it. Um, but with increased options available to investors, I like to think of going short in a, in a less rigid fashion. So I think of going short as taking any position in your portfolio or, or really making any investment decision at all that's designed to profit from the decline of a particular security or a particular market or a particular index. In short, it's really any strategy or any tactic that inverts the classic buy and hold mentality. So up becomes down and down becomes up. 